Hey guys, welcome back to another episode Up and Running. Thanks for watching. On today's episode, we're going to keep working on the blazer. Uh, we're going to take a look at a couple miscellaneous things, get some sanding done, some paint prep, and who knows what else. So I hope you enjoy it. Alright, here's how you get the wash or springs off the hinges. So I didn't film this, but today Ed went through and kind of buttoned up a bunch of wiring and a bunch of miscellaneous stuff on here. Uh, he hooked up transmission lines uh, to make sure everything was good there. Um, but he basically just went through, you know, everything under here and, you know, just did a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff. I really didn't film it because it wasn't that exciting watching wires get put into a loom and things like that but he you know soldered together a couple wires and you know sealed them up right rather than having uh um you know the nut connectors the household connectors holding them together and things like that so that's what got done on here today all right ed and i are going to pull the start pulling panels back off this blazer uh ed's going to do some final body work on them and uh Get a bunch of sanding done and then uh, then it's gonna get painted. One down.
basically just putting a guide coat on it so when he sands it he knows, you know, if there's any low spots, high spots, when he's done, he knows that everything is straight. If there's black in your boat, there's metal in your heart. I meant to do this first before I even started. Yeah, well. <laughs> but now, you know, i got to wait a few minutes now. Yeah. You know, I'm undecided if I should weather strip these door jams. Probably should. What I mean by that is the seam. This seam. Yeah. It's nice and clean in here. Oh, to put the seam sealer on yeah. it? Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm going to go look at another door. I forget. I don't, it. yeah, I don't long. think they did. All right, we were talking about seam sealer on the doors, so we're going to walk out to the door on here and see if there's seam sealer on it. That other door I have, I should just put on the truck instead of storing it. Yeah. How's it look? There is a little seam sealer on it. Yeah, I can see it. just slopped it on. Yeah, you can see it kind of flakes off here. So there is a little bit of seam sealer on it. What about that door? Looks here to, they just took a brush. See it here? Yeah. So there is a little bit. So I'm not going to do that. I may put some of the tape seam sealer and see how I like it. That's yeah. what I might do. Yeah. We're going to open this door one day and a bee's going to come out and sting us. I know. It's a gorgeous day here, but uh, it's only like 55 degrees out, so that's fun. Had shorts on all weekend. But anyway, what can you do? Ah, well, we're going to run home and get some lunch. Off-roading in their Super B. All right, guys. I didn't want to bore you guys to death with a whole bunch of uh, Ed just sanding panels on this blazer, so I figured I'd uh, come down and give you an update on it and show you where it's at. Uh, he's reprimered, uh, I guess, most of it, and and. He's uh, just in the process of doing the final sand on the primer, so it uh, shouldn't be too much longer and this thing's going to go in the paint booth and uh, uh, it's, it's going to be gold and white is what I think he's going to paint it, you know, the original colors, that being the gold then with white down the center of it, so um, it should be pretty sharp. I, I can't wait to see it when it's all done. Uh, I think he's going to use the Chevy Rally wheels on it. Uh, when it's all said and done and uh, you know it should be a pretty sharp looking blazer so anyway you can see the front fenders have been uh, reprimed and then he put a guide coat on it and he's going to be um, sanding those out I think he's actually going to come down here later today and uh, and work on it some so I'll continue to give you guys updates on it it should be pretty exciting I know I can't wait to see it painted and um, finally go for a ride in it. I've actually ridden in this thing one time uh, basically just the way it was about five years ago uh, just around the shop but uh, anyway I hope you're enjoying this. Alright guys that's going to wrap it up for another episode up and running. Thanks for watching. Be sure to come back next time we're going to get the blazer painted. Next episode, episode, we're going to get the blazer painted. Hope you look forward to it.
<laughs> little, little crap flying out of the blazer I got my foot caught on. Nice.